Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to integrate 1 minus tangent squared of x over secant squared of x. Our plan is to rewrite tangent and secant in terms of sine and cosine. But before that, we are going to separate this fraction. Secant squared of x is the common denominator for both 1 and tangent squared of x. So we can rewrite it as 1 over secant squared of x minus tangent squared of x over secant squared of x dx. Now we're going to write tangent and secant in terms of sine and cosine. Let's do side work here. 1 over secant squared of x equals 2. Secant is 1 over cosine. And 1 over 1 over cosine squared of x equals to cosine squared of x. And tangent squared of x over secant squared of x tangent is sine over cosine. And secant is 1 over cosine squared of x. So if you keep change flip, keep the first fraction, change sign from division to multiplication, and flip the second fraction, cosine squares cancels each other, and we get sine squared of x. Okay, so we can rewrite 1 over secant squared of x as cosine squared of x. And we can separate integrals minus tangent squared of x over secant squared of x as sine squared of x dx. Now we're going to apply half angle identity for cosine squared of x and sine squared of x. What is the half angle identity for cosine squared of x? It is 1 half times 1 plus cosine of 2x. So we can pull this constant to the front. 1 plus cosine of 2x dx minus negative sign in between. And we can pull this constant to the front, 1 half times 1 minus cosine of 2x dx. Now we can finalize our integration because we know the antiderivatives of each piece. So 1 half times, what is the antiderivative of 1 with respect to x? It is x plus, what is the antiderivative of cosine of 2x? It is 1 half times sine of 2x minus, we have 1 half here, 1 half times, what is the antiderivative of 1? x. And what is the antiderivative of cosine of 2x? It is 1 half sine of 2x. If you differentiate 1 half sine of 2x, you get cosine 2x back and plus c. We need to distribute 1 half to this parenthesis. 1 half times x is 1 half x plus 1 half times 1 half is 1 fourth sine of 2x minus 1 half times x is 1 half x and 1 half times 1 half is positive 1 fourth sine of 2x plus c. Now we're going to combine the like terms. We have positive 1x here and negative 1x here. They cancel out. And 1 fourth sine of 2x and 1 fourth sine of 2x are like terms. So 1 fourth plus 1 fourth is 1 half sine of 2x 
plus C. This is the final answer. Let's box it. Thank you for watching. See you at the next video.